Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk, and today I will be playing Story of the Blanks, a Friendship is 8-Bit game. Well, actually, no. Basically, it's a game that was made a long time ago, in 2011, by Donitz, as you can see here. Uh, Donitz, he tried to make this as close as an NES game he could, although from what I've heard, there's some uh, limitations he surpassed from uh, an actual NES system. Anyway, let's get right on it. Space to start. This game stars Apple Bloom of all characters. There's not many games that star Apple Bloom. Also, the controls are extremely simple. I believe uh, it's mostly, yeah, just uh, arrows to move and Z to interact. Not to mention, interacting is only limited to objects and stuff. It's mostly a visual novel game. Also, completely Unix sprites, and that's a good plus. Hey, Twilight, you'll never guess what we did today. So this morning, that's okay, Apple Bloom. I just, but then Scootaloo was all like CMC Park Rangers, or uh, let me try that again, Cutie Mark Crusaders Park Rangers. Well, I'm sure you, and she said, that's not what a bear sounds like. I'm sorry, but I really need to get going. Take care now. Every single one. Ooh, where are you going, Twilight? I promised Sakura to bring her some books on local herbs. But I better hurry. I'd rather get home before dark. Oh, oh, can I come too? I'm sorry, Apple Bloom, but the Everfree Forest is no place for a little fiddly. I'll be extra careful. Oh, please, please, please. I don't think... It's just too... There are many... All right, all right. But you must promise to stay close at all times. Yeah, not like that'll happen. Yes, thank you, Twilight. Let's go, let's go! And we can move while this Twilight moves. Uh, yeah, um, the limitation that uh, limitation that uh, Don surpassed is apparently the text limit. At least that's what I remember, if that's sort of how it was, if I remember. Uh, I don't know what happens if you veer off the path here. Maybe Twilight punishes you? I've never saw, it, saw anyone try it. Considering how linear this game is, though, uh, it's probably nothing special. Those are weird vines. And if any of you paid attention, there was a secret passage on the last screen. And here's Zakora. Hey Zakora, I brought the books you wanted. Kind ponies, I thank you for delivering what told. Glad to help. But you do not want to remain for the events that will unfold. Hurry back to Ponyville, you two must. For the darkness this night you cannot trust. Well, what the hey did that mean? I do not know what this is about, but we better get... But we better go. Come on, Apple Bloom. Oop. Yeah, that was that was basically Zakora's entire role for this game. I think. Maybe she appears later. Of course, this won't be a game if since something didn't happen. What the? How in Equestria did this tree fall? Maybe it was ghosts. Oh, silly! There is no such thing as ghosts. Never mind, I'll move it. And Twilight showing how OP she is. Phew, now we... Oh, come on! Stay right there, Apple Bloom. This may take a while. No, Apple Bloom can't do anything to help Twilight. Hey, Twilight! Not now, Apple Bloom. Okay, now we have to go back here, because that's what the game wants us to do. And we see some kind of pony that looks like Derpy. And we have to follow her to this secret passage. Hello? Where are you? Don't veer off the path, Apple Bloom. Keep staying close to me, Apple Bloom. You're out there? Like like the Cruise Mark. Like you. Oh, goodness, words. Like the Cuny Mark Crusaders ever listen to the slightly older ponies. Sisters slash uh, friends. So, in case any of you haven't figured it out yet or are not aware of this game, this is a creepy pasta game. It's basically a next truly nine year experience that ends very, very horribly. Although, I will say this this game did it really well for its time. Like, it knew its limits, it knew, it knew uh, how to make a cohesive experience, and you how to tell a pretty good story. It's not bad. 
Just saying. Anyway. Haha! -ha, why hi there, little filly, and welcome to Sunnytown! Um, thanks, but just who are you anyway? Grey Hoof at your service! Celebration planner extraordinaire! The party just started. Please help yourself to food and drinks. A party without Pinkie Pie? Nonsense. What are those things anyway? Cocaine? Sugar? It's too uh, vague to tell. Hmm, who's this? He hasn't said a word to me all night. Uh... Yeah, it's the typical uh, RPG romance that the protagonist has to solve for them. Ronio! <laughs> period, period, period. Hello. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Fine, I'll tell you. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> the pony over there is Starlet. I was going to give her a gift tonight. But I lost it. Nowhere to be found. It was so pretty, too. So yeah, basically, you got your typical uh, puzzle-solving uh, activities right here. And I think... Uh, with how fast this guy had changed his mind, there might, might have been a puzzle that uh, Donuts planned for him before he to started telling you about it, but... Donuts didn't refuse to do it. Huh? Something is sticking up in the dirt! Ah, just a red gem. Wow, Apple Bloom, just a red gem, huh? Spike would love that. And who's she? Hey, how come y'all don't have any cutie marks? Oh, it's a he. <laughs> cutie what? Sorry, little filly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, can't enter doors. They look really small, actually. Oh, by the way, the music is really nice. Very, uh, nest-like feeling. I didn't know there lived any ponies in the favorite free forest. You are not the first visitor to say that. Really? We got everything we need right here, so we rarely, if ever, leave. Really not much people here. Oh, look, that pony uh, that we were following. Also, everything's dark again. And that door is a lot bigger. Darn it, the door is locked. I can see something shiny down the well. I could lift it up with the bucket, but the crank is gone. Why is the crank gone, anyway? Because RPG NES games. That's the only way they could make puzzles. Hmm. I like how... Uh, no, actually, uh, Apple Bloom's legs do look like they're moving. I think it's a three-frame animation she has. Anyway, let's go back to the here. You found it! Huh? The gem? Sure, you can have it, I guess. Thank you! Thank you so very much! Wow, he was in a rush. Uh, I guess I'll see what they're about to say. Oh, Ronio, you shouldn't have. Your love is enough. Thank you again. Well, that solved that uh, problem. Let's see what's in here. And there's a pony over there, and there's a small puzzle involved here. We don't want to push this thing all the way. Actually, this is probably the only real puzzle this game has to offer. The one you can fail, that is. Um, yeah, here it's just this. Oh, and we're forced to take the crank before... Oh no, we can actually talk to this pony before. It is not right. This is not right. The same thing again and again and again. And she's crying. Mita is crying. A crank? Now what am I supposed to do with this? There is no alternate dialogue, even if you're already aware of what you're supposed to do with it. That's too bad. Then again, uh, Donuts was trying to make this as a uh, NES-like as they could. So yeah, there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five entire ponies in this village. Well, five ponies in the entire village, more specifically. Uh, although six if you count that one that was right over there. I can see something shiny down in the wheel. Appaboom lifts off the bucket. It's a rusty old key. Da -da -da -da. Can we use it here? Of course. It doesn't even uh, prompt us. It just opens it for us. And now... Here comes the climatic point of this game, and where everything changes over its head. Hmm, what's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? This game would be rated E but for now, but as soon as this happens... Where did she go? Nothing in here. 
Nothing but... M rating! Well, it probably would have been T. No, 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 no! Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a pony skeleton burning the fire. By the way. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm ruining the atmosphere of this game, but it's kind of a cheesy. Consulting's considered. But we are getting to the real gameplay now. There was no other way. She was going to spoil the party. z z, -z zombie ponies No, they're not, uh... Um... Colossus minions, uh, what are they? Changelings. They're not changelings. The curse had befallen her this very night. She had the mark! She had to go! Don't talk to that pony, it's instant game over. Push this, and don't go do south, because you'll get screwed by that pony right over there. Please, stay with us. We will never let the same... Yeah, it works. We will never let the same happen to you. Run. Oh god, this pony's really fast. I think the speed varies, but yeah, that's the most dangerous pony. Come on, I hate it when the horror games do this, when they freeze the protagonist in a cutscene and just get the enemies to move in closer to you. All we want is friendship. Don't leave. The others won't like it. The others are just avoided. Uh, I think for this pony, it's an exception. She's the only one who won't uh, give you a game over. At least that's what I think. Fools. Even in death, they do not understand. I should have protected her, but I made my choice. This is our everlasting punishment. What we deserve. Now run. Run for your life. Run, baby, run! And that was Mita, by the way. The pony that was crying. Oh man, black on red. How cliche. Anyway, this wasn't this wasn't praised for being a really scary game per se. More that it really just told a well-written story that was uh, in line with the friendship is magic uh, lore, let's say. And this isn't very difficult, by the way. In fact, we're, we're already done. That was it. That was the only part where we could get a game over. I think those are supposed to be bloody steps, something. Hmm. Okay, who are you? You need to have questions to answer, young lady. I am sorry. I didn't mean to bring you into this. I was just curious. Don't be sad. I don't blame you. Your cutie mark. A magnifying glass? Turns out I'm really good at finding things. I finally understand what it means. Uh, and I will find you a way out of this. No, she won't. Twilight solves anything, as usual. Thanks, Twilight. Apple Bloom! Oh, Apple Bloom! Thanks, Celestia, I found you. Twy! Let's get out of this creepy place. Who knows what lurks in here? Thank goodness there's no sound effects for the moving. See you later, friend. Okay, so anyway, uh, just gonna explain something right here before the game ends. I think it ends right after this, maybe. Uh, Ruby, the pony right here, she apparently found the red gem that uh, Apple Blue found and showed it to. Because she found the red gem, she found out that she was really good at finding things, which gave her her cutie mark. But the village, the of the blanks, they apparently didn't like that. They were cursed to never have the cutie marks or something like that. I'm not sure. Or they thought it was some kind of curse. I can't remember. I don't remember what the backstory of this game really is. Point is, the pony that was burning the fire, it was Ruby, right here. Throughout Equestria, relics of the past lay, forgotten and alone. Never truly resting, awaiting recognition. That's it? Yep, that's it. So yeah, basically, this game had a lot, a very, it told a very good backstory. Goodness. It told a very good story, complete with a, a lot of, uh, like, if you look into it, as I showed, as I said before, there's a pretty good stories being said. Finding out about Ruby being the one who found the red gem and uh, how she got a Kimnark and got the 
burned alive for it is uh, kind of uh, pretty dark, especially for Friendship is Magic or any kid show, really. But yeah, that was Story of the Blanks. Fairly short game. Told a very good story. First creepypasta. A lot of games, fanfics, and other things, whatnot, tried to... Well, they were influenced by this game. But not everyone who was inspired by this game made good products from it. Uh, what comes to mind right now is a Super Philly Adventure. It was a super generic, uh, basically, story about a Mary Sue who uh, saved Ponyville from uh, some kind of dragon. And there was multiple endings. And there was basically a very generic ending that you were likely to get. A secret ending that uh, you had to go out of your way to get. And a super, super duper dark ending inspired by this game that was insanely difficult to get. And it really didn't get how well the atmosphere of this game uh, presented itself. Mangling words. Anyway, I totally didn't do this because it was Halloween or anything. Uh, I just did it because I remembered about it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day. I'll put the link in the description. And next time, I'll probably do some more Canterlot Siege 2. Got a lot easier by version 1.3. Bye-bye!